Hey guys, um, I'm Shannon, I'm the YA Specialist, and I am live to tell you about some of our amazing new YA titles coming out today. I had this plan to do it in the store and all the books behind me, and then I decided today was the day to go rogue, because Renegades is out. I'm so excited about this book, and you'll see the cover pop up in the slideshow that's on the side. I'm going to actually like make sure that that's on there for you guys. Yeah, so uh, I am super excited about Renegades. Uh, Melissa. Melissa Meyer is back, and she, um, wow, I can't even, I'm like, I don't even know where to start with Marissa. Marissa is so great. Like, Marissa is, um, she's the author of the Cinder books, um, the Lunar Chronicles, like, all of that series, Wires and Nerves. Um, Marissa is so extraordinary, and I am a huge fan, and I'm so excited that she's brought back, um, this amazing new world that she's created for us and it's one of those like if you are a fan of superheroes or villains or anything like that then you are going to absolutely love this new book it is one of the most exciting new like world of superheroes and villains that i've seen in a long time she's created new powers um there's a guy who actually his power is that he can draw stuff and then push it out and make it come to life there's a girl that can turn into a swarm of butterflies um, there's our lead, like one of our lead characters who is called Nightmare and all of her stuff has to do with sleeping. And in this world, the superheroes have come in and have made everything completely, um, safe. We've had a time where supervillains like reign supreme and they kind of took over everything. And then the renegades showed up and they kind of like took over and like the superheroes are not just keeping us safe they are actually in charge of everything they are the ones who have complete power and it's to the point where like now the the supervillains who kind of can just live their lives the way they want to as long as they don't hurt people are kind of starting to think like this isn't fair um obviously they're supervillains of course they don't think it's fair um but a lot of the other people are starting to see that too and you can join up and you can be a renegade and you can become a hero and you can go through these trials and tribulations to do it and that's kind of where the story starts. Like, we're at this point where, like, do we need to break in and do we need to change the way these things work? And our lead character, Nightmare, is really just trying to figure out, like, where her place is, is going to be. And she's very, very angry towards the heroes and these renegades. And it's really nice to see, like, her struggle with that power. Um, not just her superpowers, but with the power of her decision that she has to make. So if you haven't read Marissa Meyer before, this is a great one to start with. Um, it's a, it's a, a big book. It's super exciting. Marissa is known for like telling really in de detailed stories that are very much in the sci-fi world, and so I would recommend starting there. Um, if you have read Marissa, then you know what you're getting into because those Lunar Chronicle books were absolutely phenomenal, and Marissa just builds the greatest worlds in that sci-fi style and was perfect to take on a new superhero kind of world. Um, other books that are coming out today, uh, it's the 10 year anniversary of City of Bones. Guys, I cannot believe that Mortal Instruments is already 10 years old. I, I feel old because of that. Um, I remember when City of Bones first came out and the millions of times that I read it over and over again. Um, we've been through so many more books since then. We've been through so many different, um, like movies and TV shows and everything and it's so exciting to finally get to celebrate 10 years with a special commemorative anniversary edition of City of Bones and not only that but on top of the 10 year anniversary edition we also have a special graphic novel that came out today um, it's the first love it's the first edition of the Mortal Instruments graphic novel um, it's super exciting. The artwork is phenomenal. If you haven't seen it, come into the store, check it out, um, look it up online so you can actually see those pictures because the, the artwork is extraordinary. It just got super windy. Um, of course it did because it's going to blow my computer off of all of the books that it's stacked on. Um, but Mortal Instruments, 10 year anniversary. If you guys have not started celebrating yet, now's a really good time to do it with both the graphic novel and the 10 year anniversary edition of the book. Um, I met Cassie when a couple times and I think the first time I ever met Cassie I was too busy like fangirling uh, to actually like tell her how much I love these book, this book series. But this is a great opportunity to, if you haven't been invested in the Mortal Instruments before, pick up the City of Bones special edition, um, get that 10 year anniversary and grab the graphic novel so you can actually see what because with Clara being an artist it's nice to have a graphic novel so we can see some of the work um, and get some of that feel that Clary has developed. 
Um, War of Cards, War of the Cards just popped up on the screen. If you guys have um, been reading that series, this is actually the last book in the series. So, um, it's my understanding. So this should be the epic conclusion to that. And if you're a Wonderland fan, you should definitely be in invested in that series and you should pick it up um i i am a huge alice in wonderland fan so i grab anything that has anything to do with alice in wonderland and that has been a really great one um the sequel to the um the reader the speaker is out and that uh is gonna be an amazing book this is one of those that we've all been waiting for the covers on them alone are epic but this um this is definitely one of those sequels that if you haven't read the first one, go buy the first one and the second one at the same time and just get started on it um, because it's so deep and so, there's so much to the world and there's so much to the story that you're missing out if you haven't started reading it. So um, tons of new books. There's actually, this is probably one of the big like release weeks for YA. Um, we've seen quite a few different uh, titles come across the screen already because there's quite a few like new ones coming out that I'm really excited about. And I could keep you here all day. Um, Devil in Ohio is on my screen right now. And I actually hadn't heard of that until the new release, like, lookup that I did uh, for what was coming out this week. And if you like thriller and, like, suspense and stuff like that, Devil in Ohio sounds like it's going to be a really great one for that. Um, it starts with the mother bringing home a psych patient to stay in their home. And then she kind of starts to take over the main character's life. She steals her clothes. She starts going to her activities for her. She starts doing all the same things as her. And then one day, the main character is trying to investigate and see what's going on, and she notices all of this weird stuff about her. And then from there, it just kind of starts getting creepy. So if you haven't um, heard of Devil in Ohio yet, which I hadn't, it's um, it's going to be, it sounds like it's going to be super creepy and super excited, the perfect like fall read. Uh, if you didn't get enough Halloween, here's your chance to get a little bit more. Um, so yeah, tons of great, exciting books coming out, but I also want to throw out that there are a couple of events coming up starting on this Sunday on the 12th. Uh, if you guys are fans of Jessica Jones or Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23, you probably know who Kristen Ritter is. She's actually just done uh, her own novel, and it's it's not a memoir. It's actually like, a, there's a story, and it's... Um, I'm really excited uh, because Kristen Ritter is going to be at the store. And I am a huge Jessica Jones fan. Uh, I love comic books. If you've ever been to anywhere near the store or any of the book talks, you know that's all I ever talk about is comic books, hence why we're having such a huge, like, Marissa Meyer moment earlier. Um, but we are going to have Kristen Ritter in the store on Sunday at 2 p.m. this Sunday, and she will be doing a signing for her new book, Bonfire. So if you um, are fans of any of those, you know that she's hilarious, so you know her story is probably going to be just as amazing. So come gra grab that book. I would pre-order it now if you haven't already, and then come out there and see her. Um, following that, on Monday, uh, like I said, Marissa Meyer is going to be in the store. We are doing a Heroes vs. Villains Renegades party. So uh, come decked out in your best Heroes or Villains cosplay. Um, if you I am a huge cosplayer. You've probably seen my pictures up on the Book People blogs or up on Book People itself or any of the videos. I think this is probably one of the few times I've been on the internet without some form of costume on um, for Book People. So if you um, know me, you know that I love cosplay. And Marissa is also a huge cosplayer. I've never met her when she wasn't in a costume for a character from her book. So it'll be really exciting to see if she comes dressed as herself or as Nova or Nightmare, which is kind of the same thing um but in some capacity so if you guys um are cosplayers this is a great opportunity if you've never put on a costume before go get one um it's literally like everything is on sale for post halloween so you still have time to get some of those good deals and then make a costume out of it anybody can wear a costume you don't have to have like a professional background in costume making just put on a costume and you're a cosplayer having fun um so come out to that party there will be prizes and they're going to be amazing, and I'm not going to tell you what they are. So uh, just know that if you come out, you have a chance to win some really cool prizes. You definitely are going to meet Marissa. You're definitely going to enjoy Renegades, so tons of great things. Um, I know that if you don't have, like, a costume you want to wear, go with either red or blue um, because that shows your allegiance to one team or the other. If you look at the cover, you can kind of see um, so just kind of embody that and just have some fun with it. And we're going to be, 
I know we're going to have a photo booth set up and we're going to have some props and there's going to be a huge party. So you don't want to miss it. Even if you just bring a mask or you grab one from the prop section that we have, it's going to be a lot of fun. And that is on Monday night, a week from yesterday, so the 13th, at 7 p.m. at the store. Um, pre sales buy your tickets for that one early. Buy a book. Gets you a ticket. Do it now because they are already selling like crazy and you definitely want to get one so that you can get near the front of the line. Um, you'll still be able to come to the party, still be able to have fun, still be able to get a signing, uh, but grab yours now so that you can be in the front of the line for the signing because those signing lines, as you know, get pretty long and you don't want to miss out on being there. So get that as soon as possible. You can go to our website, bookpeople.com, and purchase that now, or you can stop by the store anytime this week and you can pick it up, or of course you can buy at the party. Um, so pick your side, go dark or light, come get a cosplay prize, and meet Marissa Meyer because she's amazing and you're going to miss out if you don't show up for that. Um, and then we have a couple other events they've kind of flashed up on the screen, so I want you guys to make sure you check those out. Um, also, if you miss out on the Texas Book Festival, you miss seeing the Team Press Corps hanging out and doing trivia. And that was a ton of fun. But I just thought I'd throw a huge shout out to the Team Press Corps for showing up and uh, doing trivia in a big crowd of people. They had probably like, I would say at least 100 people in the room. And they did trivia like rock stars with these people. And they actually didn't know they were getting up in front of everybody and getting on the microphones. They didn't know what their role was going to be until they got there. And I handed them papers and made them talk in front of people. So uh, if you are a teenager between the ages of 13 and 18 and you would like to be a member of the Teen Press Corps, um, just send me an email, shannon at bookpeople.com or teenpresscorps at bookpeople.com, and we can get you signed up. It's a great way. You come in to have some more fun. You come into the store once a month for a meeting with us, and we talk about books that we love. We talk about movies that our favorite books are being made into. We talk about all kinds of YA things. And then we go out, we read books before they come out, which the advanced reader copies. And we write reviews about them. And then we talk about how great they are. And then a lot of the times, they get to do cool things like trivia at Texas Book Festival or interview everybody at the Teen Book Festival. So if you're a teen in Austin and you want to participate, find us on the Book People website or email me so that way you can. Um, other than that, guys, stop by the store, pick up some of those new releases that are out today, and don't forget to come check out Marissa Meyer on Monday at 7 p.m. because it's going to be an awesome party and you don't want to miss out. So uh, have a great day, guys, and if you're watching um, and you're enjoying the video, let us know. Also, comment what you're looking forward to coming out this week or next week or what you're reading right now. Uh, it doesn't even have to be new. I currently just finished Renegades, um, been like pouring over that this last couple weeks and I've also been reading Brooding YA Hero at the same time and if you haven't picked that up it's hilarious it's one of the most ridiculously wonderful things follow them on Twitter as well at Brooding YA Hero um, and pick up that book but let me know what you guys are reading because that's what we're here for we love talking about books and you guys have a great day and we'll see you on Monday bye guys